So at around 7.15 in the morning, last Sunday, the 5th of July, two rockets landed in very close proximity to the ICRC-supported hospital in a town called Kodok in South Sudan. The day before, a heavy military confrontation had begun between government and opposition forces very nearby. The remainder of the staff were evacuated inland on Sunday afternoon and then onwards to Juba the following day. The two rockets that landed close to Kodok's hospital did not only damage the structure, but they also caused injury and death. Eleven were wounded and at least two were killed. Soon after this terrible incident occurred, a colleague working at the hospital and myself went in order to assess the damage and to see the injured. We arrived to a tragic scene where a patient had been killed within the grounds of the hospital as a result of fragments from the explosion. We entered the ward to find many wounded who had recently been injured in very serious ways. So the International Committee of the Red Cross has been supporting the hospital in Kodok for just over a year and it's the only hospital within the whole portion of Western Upper Nile that lies to the west of the river. At least uh, 500 patients have been treated there a week on average and the catchment population is at around 40,000 individuals. We must also remember that uh, in this time of conflict, a number of war wounded and sick are continuing to arrive at the hospital whilst we are unable to be there. And health staff we have been supporting in Kodok have also fled at this time. And so the hospital is virtually empty of any qualified personnel to provide quality care at a time when it is most needed. Very sadly, the situation has gone from bad to worse as a result of this incident. We're unable to get back to Kodok today or tomorrow because the confrontations seem to be continuing and we do not know if the situation will get worse before getting better. As a result, thousands of individuals cannot access appropriate health care and we are unable to implement the work that we are here to do.